progress report. It's your girl, Lila Shepard. Hey, boss, but the most lit. What's up? It's your girl, DJ Excel, and this is the progress report. We ain't staying now. Tune in every time. Uh, we don't do no cap. Report only facts. What's good? It's the BAM, and I just got my progress report on a progress report. The progress report. All right, what's going on? It's your girl, Lala Shepard. Boss Britt, the most lit. What's up? It's your girl, DJ Excel. Okay, we got the BAM in the building. Yo. Yeah. What's up with it? You look and we really got her nice, drinking that girl. tequila. Yeah. We got her off the tequila okay, today. Big to tequila. Okay. For everything. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I used to do the tequila back in the day, but you know. It's a, it's a different type of bam. Okay. So y'all be prepared. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I like hey, it's, hey, it's crazy how like different color like types of liquor I'm make you. Because the dark, I had to stop drinking it. I can't it. do dark, I, man. I, I, Me and my girl almost Wait. broke up like three times. I her literally. Her from drinking. Really? <laughs> and I wasn't against it. See, my mom <laughs> is the same Crown way. apple. When my mom drink anything brown, like she go yeah like it was so bad that like, i really gotta wake up and be like what did well, i say yeah. Yeah. Like, we good. Like, yeah don't say nothing was to me. Angry drunk. Yeah, i was <laughs> it was crazy <laughs> damn <laughs> oh damn she took you out of the hold up, the music hold up, because that's that's jeffrey Dahmer waking up <laughs> oh shit. with blood on his hands oh fuck. Anyways. it's too soon too soon <laughs> baby how are you <laughs> I'm good. Good. Yeah. Well, welcome to the platform. I got a salute to my it. girl, Nisha. You know, she hit me up. She was like, we got to make this happen. I said, well, duh, I can't wait. Let's do it. Hell so, yeah. You know, the crazy thing is you just came to our pride party. Yeah, you me and her. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. At, at, op at, at Opium. And one of, yeah. your, um, one of your folks came up to me to play your record, and I was trying everything. That was you? Mm. I was trying everything to get it, but I ain't have no hot spot. That's it wasn't so air dropping. Beat her ass, bam. Beat her ass. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. You, you I, got it now. So I, we I was. Good. I was definitely yes. trying it, but you know, I was like, damn, I can't get it. But it's thank you good. for coming out, even you though you ain't know it was us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, it's all good. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm I'm here for the all women situation. Yes. All it's a time. vibe, right? Shout out to the lesbos. Absolutely. Like the parties be a little more fun. I feel Way like more fun in terms yeah. of like people like dancing. Yeah. You know what I mean, that's true. I feel like it's a lot more kind of like relaxed. I ain't gonna mm. lie. Like, yeah. it's just like. Not tension. You don't yeah. gotta worry about like. No. Somebody, yeah, it's that different. I'll be getting anxiety going to straight clubs. I'm not gonna lie. Me too. Last few but, times I was ducking motherfucking low cap, like see, for real. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> and I got the honor to see you perform recently at New Music Monday. Yep. So I'm like, okay, bam, back doing yeah, this music thing. Back so outside. Back okay. outside. That's yeah. what's up. So, I mean, well, let's take it from the top then because we know we see you crib walking on stage. That so part. <laughs> we know that you are from the West Coast originally. Yep. So um, just talk about growing up on the West Coast. What was your childhood like? You know, it's crazy when people ask me that, like, what was your childhood like? Because for me, like, then it was so just regular. Yeah, but now looking course. back, I'll be like, damn, yeah. like, that, it was crazy, for real. Yeah. But growing up in it, like, you ain't really looking at it like it's crazy. Like, mm -hmm. I ain't feel like a victim or nothing like that. But now when I'm looking back, I'm like, I would never have my children in that What made it crazy? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, the shit that you really do be seeing on TV, like the shootouts and the mm. just people just wilding like it was just it was a lot going on around me like yeah. from the beginning of my life you know what's crazy like just what you said people don't realize how crazy of a situation they're in even probably like your parents yeah. until like exactly learn better and then you know. like i don't even really like fuck my mom because you know she's from that my mom yeah, is right. from like when Compton was really going down, yeah. you know what I'm saying? She was a part of that, so that was just where she that was her life, you yeah. know. So, we want you to come skip class with us and share your story on our new segment called Skipping Class. Look, we want to talk to all the artists, indie or mainstream, or if you're an entrepreneur, come build your brand with us and tell your story to the world. You'll also get the shot in our locker and you'll get promo clips for all your fans. So DM us today or visit our website, tprmediagroup.com. Get locked in with us. Yeah, I really had friends that was like, 
crackheads. Like, wow. like, damn, I was friends with crackheads. That's crazy. Like, they could have huh, did they tur- something to me. They yeah. turned crackheads or they was crackheads when Not you were like cool. older men, but they was cool as fuck. Like, oh, you had the neighborhood yeah. crackhead or whatever. Oh, like, yeah. Fuck mm-hmm. with them or whatever. Like, yep. just give them a couple dollars. But, like, looking back, it's like, damn, I didn't realize, like, that nigga was, like, yes. strong the fuck out. Hey, we yeah. all know the neighborhood crackhead, too. For real. Yeah. <laughs> no, I had this lady. Her name was Wonder Woman, and I think she <laughs> yes, passed <Wonder> away. <laughs> but she was, like, the popular like prostitute like Damn. in the hood Wonder she used woman. to like Wonder Woman, Wonder woman like for real she used to come out the store <laughs> and like buy us cookies and candy and Wonder shit woman. and I love me some Wonder Woman okay. and then I'm sure when I got everybody older did. they was like <laughs> right. they explained to me what her <laughs> occupation yeah. really was I was like oh <laughs> right. <Big> Wonder. wow <laughs> okay. yeah but she was a little hero you know? okay yeah. period she held it down for the hot Cheeto okay, okay period okay. Now you said you wouldn't let your kids grow up in that environment. Mm-mm. So talk about just you know just different people even traveling to the West Coast now because with all this stuff going on with different artists, do not recommend at all. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying I got family that live literally about three minutes from where that Roscoe's is, yeah. where this last little situation happened, unfortunately. And when I go to my family house, like I'm there, like we in a backyard, like ain't nobody, I'm super paranoid. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So as soon as people get to hanging out in the front and you know what I'm saying, congregating, I'm like, listen, y'all need to go in the back. Mm-hmm. Like I, I really do have like a lot of PTSD from like growing up in Compton. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, like just being a little girl, <clears throat> outside in the front yard like riding my bike playing with something people literally coming by like shooting like the shit been going on forever mm. so that's why I don't understand why people don't really get it you know what I'm saying like it's been going on forever it, I don't feel like nobody is extra hard for being like oh yeah I was over here like no I, you, agree. Yes. Crazy. I think People said it like I think people just sleeping on how beautiful it is <laughs> oh, and the nice absolutely. weather that you just think is yes. all good. Mm-hmm. And cream. Yeah, but it's crazy because even um the game like his verse that they recap from like yeah, 10 15 was, years ago he was he, warning niggas he said the exact thing like the roscoes and everything and yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, it really is. And again, like you just said when pe- when I take people to where my family live at in Compton, they be like, "Oh wow, like this ain't what they envisioned mm-hmm. for Compton. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're envisioning like get like just crazy. Like it's nice. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful. It's like beautiful homes. Like everybody lawn is like man- manicured, well mm-hmm. kept. Like everything. Like it's nice over there, but it be going down. Hey, that's how I got. I always say that's how I got tricked in Atlanta. Cause coming f- from up north, if you had a gated community, <laughs> it was a nice ass community. Oh, but out yeah. here, if you have a gated community, they might be locking your ass in that place. Period. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm-hmm. So that's how I got kind of got finessed out here when yeah. I first I moved to Stone Mountain. Okay. Right? Yeah. So, <laughs> so <laughs> they um, said old. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so how you saying? I could see that like it yeah. be it might look like a nice ass block, but really mm-hmm. it might be wild as hell. No, it is. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. So when you did become like of age, when did you like get into entertainment, and what came first, like between like TV and music? Um, TV definitely came first. When I was in, I mean, when I was growing up, I would do like random little modeling gigs, and for me it was small, but like the other people, like it was big, you mm-hmm. know, because I was. I did a lot of stuff like Mm -hmm. as a teenager um, in terms of modeling. I was on all types of different stuff. But um, when I got in college, that's when I really kind of tapped into like the real artist side Mm -hmm. because I had to pick up a minor real quick. You know what I'm saying? I was done with all the major stuff and they were like, you got to have a minor. And I was like, what? So I picked up theater thinking that it was going to be easy. You know what I'm saying? Something real quick. And then I get in the theater, and then they're like, oh, you got to, you know, the acting one. I'm like, all right, shit, I can go in there and finesse some little acting shit real quick, whatever. <laughs> but then the professor, he was actually like a working actor. He mm. was on the show Ugly Betty at the time. Like, he had been in a whole bunch of stuff. And so I was, like, kind of trying to BS my way through the course. And he was like, oh, no, nah, you got to get up here on this. Okay. And on this, I'm, like, in front of all these people. <laughs> like, I, my anxiety was just, like, yeah. at an all-time high. I'm sweating, all type of shit. But he was, like, you know, one of the people who really kind of was, like, you. I feel like you got a natural kind of gift for Dope. this. Wow. 
And then after that, I started doing background work on one of the shows that he was on. I got my little SAG card, and it was lit after that. I was I was like, this is some easy money right here. Okay. That's so, what I be hearing when yeah. it comes to acting. They say yeah. good things about mm-hmm. it, though. Yeah. If you sure. ain't no extra until yeah. you become I mean, extra, I was an extra for a real? long time. How, how much but money was you getting paid? I was, was getting a lot of money as an extra. <laughs> you know why? Fun. Because, like, the one show I was on, like, I became, you know, eligible to join SAG so once What's I joined SAG the Screen Actors Guild okay. okay so it's a union um for the actors or whatever and so once you join that your pay automatically like you go in a different bracket oh, okay. oh the union I heard yeah about the union. so like when I'm doing background work it'll be something like Fast and the Furious mm. and so you working every day all day every day you going in overtime and all kind of shit and that's all you doing all day every day is working on a movie people probably never see you in but you finna get it some checks. Hey, was well, you that's one of them people that pause it and, and be like, look, that's <laughs> me nah. right there. You know what I did, though? I was just telling people this earlier because it was like a Alicia Keys song on it. I was like, damn, I was supposed to be in that video, but they had so many extras. I would go hide. Okay. I'd go take a nap somewhere. I'd be like, oh, shit, bitch. y'all got enough people out there, but yeah. you already on set. You sign your shit, so you're going to get paid. Mm. So did you I'm know like, Superhead? Mm. No. Girl, that Superhead motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. Y'all know okay. Superhead? Yeah. But, <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, because y'all wait. like, y'all know no, Superhead. That's not random. <laughs> that's random. Like, that's what I'm like. Yeah. No, she's a video like, fixer. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 In the video, so no, I'm I, like, I didn't, I didn't really video. know, like, a lot of the video <laughs> models like that, because I just used to kind of slide <laughs> in and slide Y'all, out. Y'all, Britt is a little, you know. <laughs> He's talking about videos. He's talking about Lisa Keys. She probably was like... Alicia but you Keys also did videos for like Ja Rule, Fifty Cent. Um, I did, did fi- I did Fifty too. Cent, Lil Wayne, like Weezy couple of Wee. people. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Had, so I wasn't, I didn't really book. like tap into like the real super vixen part of the video mm-hmm. stuff, okay. which I always wanted to. I'd be like, dang, look at them! Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. It was so nah, lit. Looking back, Love like body, seeing is. people that notice them, like damn, they really been like. Even when I was looking at your old stuff, I'm like, yo, she really been doing this. Yeah. Like you, you didn't just come out of nowhere. People right. probably think like, oh, they think that. Yeah, all the time. but you really yeah. been outside. Even now, like you know, on Love and Hip Hop, this is the first year they even kind of like highlighted me as an artist. And then when people see that, they were like, oh, now she rapping. I'm like. And been it, rapping okay so the question is though how do you deal with that without like losing your cool or do you be losing your cool sometimes with people that well comments? i really don't lose my cool i say stuff that might get me banned so <laughs> Girl, i had a couple, like, cool. shadow ban now. that's why i'm shadow Damn. banned my page was down for like five months like Damn. for real yeah i had to start mm-hmm. all over but yeah i just kind of learned to you know <laughs> argue a little bit differently now you know, but you would passive. think how long you've been doing it, like you, you kind of learn to ignore motherfuckers. But I guess it's still like we, when they yeah. say we all human, like yeah. it's just right. still gonna mess with us. Yeah, it depends. To, Cause sometimes I really, I be knowing, <laughs> I be thinking it's like somebody I know saying some shit. I oh, feel you though. You know what I'm I saying? I will be like, y'all just hey, made a fake page, page I just to say that. that Cause Damn. Facts. yeah. I feel that. It'd be, mm-hmm. little, it'd be little ass kids. Like, that you know part, me? too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, so we got to take it back then. end the song, 10 years of the Bam Lanta joint. Yes. So yeah. talk about that joint when you sample Easy e Yes. You know what? When you I made I did, a whole production on I, that music video. No, no, no. It's so long, like ain't it? It's so crazy because I'll be looking back now like, damn, I really was just like out there doing shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like spending my own money, like doing my own every fucking thing. And... I don't know. It's just crazy. Sometimes it's a little cringy when I look at it. I'm like, oh shit! Like I could have, you know, combed my hair a little bit. No, I was, I was <laughs> dying. I'm like, yo, she dressing how I dress up a whole stud. Like she gets up. On no, me. for real. But that was really my swag. And yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Like you know, when I was growing up, I I was like a super duper tomboy. Yeah. Like them dicky shorts and hoodies. <laughs> like dickies. Cali. Yeah, that was Cali my shit. Fuck, yeah. yeah. So when did you yeah. relocate to Atlanta? I came out here. Okay, so it's crazy. So I had came to Atlanta. I went to school out here because I played okay. basketball. And I like my coaches were like, listen, like you can have the best of both best of both worlds because you can go to like the <laughs> 
<laughs> black college, right? Yeah. And you can still do Division One. So mm. Morris Brown was open that first year I came. Okay. They end up losing their accreditation. So Damn. I went to yeah, I went to Morris Brown and I played on their basketball team. But then they were like, you can take your classes at Spelman and okay. Clark and all that. And I was like, oh, that's, that's lit. Hard, you right. know what I'm saying? So that's I was crazy. doing that. I was going to Spelman, taking my classes, going to Clark, <laughs> doing all the radio, TV, film stuff. Like it was really dope and then um when the school started to lose their accreditation there were more options for me out here but i was a little homesick so i just used that as an excuse to go back home mm. so after that i went back home and then a few years after that i was like you know what <sighs> i think i want to give it another try yeah. so i i end up coming out here visiting my home girl going back and forth and then i just i just stay after a certain point because like going out in Atlanta around that time, you know, you would see so much black excellence. Like it was amazing. I'm talking about these black doctors and lawyers and all this stuff, like in all these places. But in LA, like you would have to kind of like, you know, it was just sprinkled on, in, yeah. you know? So it was like mostly like you go to Beverly Hills, you know, what you're gonna see, yeah. all that. But out here it was just like, all these successful black people it was inspiring to me so. so do you think that's the biggest difference between cali and atlanta as far as like because of course cali got hella opportunities but mm -hmm. like the ba black excellence you saying i think i mean it's a lot there don't get me mm -hmm. wrong but it's just really so diverse there mm -hmm. it's kind of like you have to be in certain places in order to get that vibe Word. but here it's just like everywhere like right. in this city like wherever you go you're gonna see some black people in the kitchen you're gonna see black whatever like in la you know you go to a restaurant it's mexicans in the kitchen like no sh you know what i'm saying yeah. no shade but it's like white people at the register white people in the you know it's That's it's true. But it's crazy. here, yeah, yeah. I've it's... never been to a place where I've seen so many black That's people. Facts. Like, I'd be like, yeah. oh, my God. Y'all realize... <laughs> got black people working at y'all Mexican restaurant? Right. Like, nah, yeah. when I saw the black dude at uh, fucking Benny Hanna's no, making that black hibachi. I ain't gonna no, lie, I was mad. Because he ain't do no tricks. He ain't do no... Nah, he played us, though. He ain't do the choo-choo or nothing. He said, y'all gonna get the good. No, y'all gotta go to the one at Alpharetta. The black... Nah, they lit over there. The black people. It's like, okay, yeah. this shit about to be fire, but hold it's up. A, nah, he, this is the yeah. first time I took my girl there. He like, he said, oh, that was it. He just put hella seasoning on that shit, man. though. Right. He, he gave you some extra garlic right. butter for free, though, probably. Right. <laughs> yeah. the, I think the head chef in garlic Alpharetta butter. is um, black. So that's yeah, different. That's you know what I'm saying? Like, no, that's, that's different. And the crazy thing that's is, true. like, like even here, you go to a bank. The manager, every all the tellers are black, right? And the crazy thing is, you don't even think about it. Um, until you get here, like you don't even realize, like mm -hmm. in your hometown, like damn, why you don't never see no like black yes. managers that like accountants and stuff like that, and That's then you true. come out here and be like, it's very oh, true, shit. yeah. So, at what point did you decide to do reality TV though, and like did you realize reality TV like what it was in terms I, of like okay, yo, I did not know what the fuck I was getting myself into with reality TV. I am not gonna lie, I'm never gonna cap about that. I didn't know. So like, I was out here doing my music. I had one of my songs, it was kind of like bubbling a little bit, you know. Um, and so some of the producers from Basketball Wives, they were doing they <laughs> auditions. And you know, you people think like you can just hop on reality TV just cause you know somebody. And yeah. really it ain't like that. Like you gotta go through kind of an extensive process. Like it's a casting thing. You're right. So um, my, friend Malaysia like she had a, a whole bunch of her friends who kind of went through the casting process and I was one of those people and then the producers I think they just kind of like you know was feeling like the different angle you know like I was an artist doing the music and I had like some stuff going on out here so you know I got on the show and I honestly I didn't get it like <laughs> it really is an art to that shit and I still I don't got it I ain't gonna <laughs> lie like some of these ladies and guys mm -hmm. like on these reality TV shows they're really smart and mm -hmm. they crafty and they they kind of like premeditate like a lot of things and I ain't like that you know what I'm saying so mm -hmm. I just kind of show up um, basketball wives was cool because it was just like a whole bunch of 
females and just right. a little female drama. I'm like, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But then when it came to love and hip hop, it was like personal. Hella drama. You know what I'm saying? Because right. it's like a real relationship. And I didn't understand it at first. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't understand what my purpose was on there. And they kind of thought I was just going to be like in and out real quick. Gotcha. Like, oh, that's just somebody he fucking with right now. And she going to be gone. Mm-hmm. And then we going to get back to this little drama. But it wasn't that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I was like there, right? Yeah. And um, I didn't get it though. I was just like, why the fuck they keep trying to come for me? Like, why are they trying to make it seem like I'm just like some fucking side chick and yeah. all that? I did not get it, you know. So and that so, wasn't the case because that's definitely how it. Yeah, how it no, was. that was episode. never. Episode. That was never the case. That's, that's crazy. so crazy. Yeah, but it's like because people only base their like perception off of what they see on right. the show, right? Of course, of course. So in between these seasons, it's like real life going on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it was just crazy. Cause when I met Scrap, like when I first met him, he was actually like with somebody else. Like he right. was, yeah. Like he wasn't even with like his baby mama. He was with somebody else when I, first met him and then they're like oh my god you a home wrecker you came in here <laughs> yeah. and i was like oh because she if he was cheating on her he was he was all getting cheated okay. on it he clear. was all our boyfriend hold up but you knew he was with her though <laughs> who the other girl yeah that we met then and mm. then we actually started talking it's crazy because he'll tell you this same story so he i met the nigga and then, <laughs> no, nah, right, yeah. back to bad times. No, no, no. So I met him, and then he like, um, I had told my homegirl, I'm like, hey, she was like, oh, he got a girlfriend, and I was like, really? So then he called me, and I'm like, hey, you know, my homegirl just told me like, you got a whole girlfriend. Yeah. He was like, yeah, and I said, so what's up? Like, what are you trying to do? Uh, yeah. So I ain't see him. Cutting. I yeah. ain't see him no more until like. He hit me up. He was like, hey, like, you know, I got something going on, like me and my girlfriend breaking up and all this type of shit. <laughs> so then I became like his, you know, I was like listening to all his stuff. Uh, He's like going through it. They breaking up. Baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So probably like a little bit after that, we started actually dating when, because it became public, like their breakup. Mm-hmm. So then after that, I was like, oh, y'all for real broke up. Yeah, we can go mm-hmm. out. So yeah, then we started going out. Right. Then he started doing love and hip hop, and then we stopped going out because mm-hmm. I went to LA to do basketball wives at the same okay. time. Gotcha. So there's a lot going on. Yeah, there was a lot going. Shaking up the timeline. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's true too. Oh, oh yeah, God. it's crazy. So then when I came back to Atlanta, it was probably like after their second season or something, and then we started dating again. Okay. But everybody had been watching the TV and he done, mm-hmm. nigga done got engaged on TV. I was like, oh shit, that's what's up. Nigga, like, I'm looking at See? TV with everybody else. Right, I was right, like, right. oh wow. How do you shit. deal with that? Because, um, and also, right. how long is the time um, gap between like when you record and when it mm-hmm. airs? Because I feel like some oh. people get over things gotcha. and then it comes back from being on the show. Yeah, mm-hmm. sometimes it takes a minute. Like, the stuff that they're airing right now was probably from like November. Damn. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um a whole year ago. You don't even almost like, a year, you right? Like those I like, don't No, cause yeah. people be like, hey, you said blah blah blah. And I'll be like, I, I don't fucking yeah. remember. And, like, and I, um even what we crazy. realize like on our podcast is like we might just Bro. be having a regular conversation, right? Mm. And then you know P- reality is we be having different conversations that we do with friends than in front of a Just group of people, yeah. right? So then you might have some forget totally about it. If shit come up a year later, you like, damn, I forgot I called I her forgot bitch. I forgot I said that. I forgot I called yeah. her bitch. I definitely did, But you though. know what thing about me, though? Like, I always feel like it's okay to change your position. We are right. human, okay. and we are, like, I'm ever evolving. Like, I can say some shit today and tomorrow have a different opinion if I learn some new facts about something so I don't yeah period and I don't think people get that they be like oh well you just said and I'm like yeah bitch well today I just said something different you know (laughs) and that's why your page got lost look that's why that's why bitch exactly (laughs) so of course you know just watching you on tv I I just want to know how's your relationship with your mom as Mm -hmm. well as how's your relationship with mama d my relationship with my mom is great. Good. 
Because I know, I know, I know, <laughs> I know, I know a lot of stuff mm-hmm. was going on before. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yeah. She funny. Oh, okay, okay. I'm like, I'm looking for the other part. I'm like, <laughs> like well, uh, understood. Yeah. And we fuck with Scrap. Scrap the baby yeah. before. Scrap is yeah. And Mama D. We had her. On right. The, well, she was on the phone. Oh, yeah. She was crying. Wow. She was crying on that episode. Oh, God. Yeah, well, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't know what, what happened. And Rest then we just Julian was in too. Vegas with her too. She got booked in Vegas. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see her. I didn't see her neither. I'm, yeah, I'm so Vegas sorry. was lit. But um, at any point, because I know you said like in the beginning you didn't mm-hmm. get reality TV. So mm-hmm. like at any point, did you figure out like I actually want to turn this and have a goal with the outcome of me being on the show? <sighs> I think about it, but I'm just not that like strategic when it comes to it because I feel like. And I probably should be, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm here, like I've been on the show for so long, I should probably kind of strategize and be like, all right, well, I'm gonna do boom, boom, boom. But I don't because I really don't care about it that much. You know what I'm saying? It's like what you see is what you get from me. I may not be in a realistic situation Mm -hmm. because sometimes I ain't gonna be in a room with some of them random people you see me on. Mm -hmm. Of course. In a scene with, you know what I'm saying? But however i'm coming that's how i'm coming <laughs> and then when you were saying like some people kind of perfected it it's low-key like the most um dramatic people or a lot of people low-key they turn it on for them cameras but then Period. they do become the, oh absolutely yeah. you know but I mean? but it's like people create a persona like it's some people that will go on there strictly to like be a victim they be like okay i'm gonna do this this and this and then people are gonna feel sorry for me and they're gonna fucking hate her i've literally heard somebody say this out of their mouth that's crazy like yeah. um little old me they're gonna be no because look she's like a bully and you know they're gonna be like why is she picking on and i'll be like bitch oh, like ugh, i don't give a fucking yeah. fuck like yeah. what people think about me on this tv show because you know you gonna watch somebody for like literally like 10 minutes Thanks. A week and then come to some type of you know conclusion who they yeah, are not nah, ain't it no nah, that's facts yeah. and i think for me personally just as a you know fan of the show mm-hmm. like i always fuck with that about you you can tell like you ain't really tripping i think that's the <laughs> west coast energy yeah. you know yeah. what i mean so and i definitely wanted to ask you about motherhood too sure um mm-hmm. because you know you have three children which is a beautiful thing mm-hmm. um so and you and you look amazing thank like, you so so <laughs> talk about just that balance of having three small children yeah no that's a lot like it it really has taken a while for me to kind of like realize like okay these are my babies they're gonna be good if i leave if i go work when i come back like we still gonna be all good because at first I used to be like, oh my God, I don't want to leave. I don't want to go anywhere. I just kind of wanted to like hover over them. Like, (laughs) but now like I'm really starting to realize like if, you know, I want them to do the things that, Mm -hmm. or have the opportunities Mm -hmm. that I want to give them, I got to work, you know what I'm saying? I got to move around and, you know, do what I got to do. So salute to you because three it's a lot girl it's a lot yeah they're one two and four okay so basically back to back but Mm -hmm. i will say honestly see me and my sister got a 10-year gap so i I definitely think that's great to have a back-to-back yeah we two years apart so babysitting but i hated that though and i wasn't the best big sister when i was little but i'm saying though that's good that they back-to-back because now like that's all they know you're not having no more I don't think I'm gonna have any. So I don't think. I don't, I don't know. Ain't no certainty in there. I, I don't think so. But I don't. Oh. You know. Are you concerned about anything that's out there on the internet that your kids may come across when they get older? No. Like honestly, mm. no. Like I'm not. I feel like I have been my true, authentic self. And if they see something that's questionable to them, I'll be able to, you know, give them an explanation like Period. you know give them my point of view and if they don't respect it then shit somebody else go pay for your fucking tuition okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Say that. um i just want to... pablo <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got a dog named Pablo. I thought wow. that was Pablo. That's how I ain't Pablo. Yeah. Trigger, triggering sounds right, right here. Like, Pablo, I ain't Pablo here. Her dog bad as hell, by the way. Uh, behavior issues, not bad. 
<laughs> hey, her dog. She, hey, she be saying her dog got behavioral issues. Don't that mean a badass dog? No, because if oh, you your have, kids got behavioral issues. <laughs> See, that's what Tuck I'm saying. Your kids. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> hey, parents be so now. Now the I kind of get it. Like, so you get it now. See? No, for real. Like my kids, See? they are really mild mannered, but I understand. Mild man. They are like they don't really be do- mild. Well, my littlest one, like she, she, she running the whole shit. Yeah, yeah, of course. They she, call yeah, her Hurricane yeah. Callie. Like she be going okay. crazy, but the whole I understand like how people are get hella sensitive about their children because it's like shit we can't even control. Like you can't, you my can't, my daughter gonna come in here and smack all this shit down. That don't mean I don't. Damn. I really do try to teach her at home, but she gonna do what the fuck she wants. Hey, like, hey, hey! Just so y'all know, we are judging y'all as parents when y'all kids do I shit know. like that. All right, I know. Just, hey, what's going on at home to make them act yeah. like that? Because I, I might not be able to relate because I don't got kids. Mm-hmm. But that's fine. I know y'all judging that's us, fine. and I'll be like, <laughs> and bitch. Nah, my cat be acting crazy. I'll be like, yes, yeah, I'll be judging. Got me looking get crazy. Get your cat. Got a crazy kitty hat. Nah, but crazy kitty. Before we wrap up, I just want to ask you because we did. Just say how like you got your ten year anniversary on on that Bam pro- yeah on that okay. project. Um, Let's go. So are yes. you and, and you coming back around? She said your music was dope. I was fucking with the Mondays. music and new music Mondays. Yeah, your birthday, yeah. Bitch. she said it was dope. Period. So like, what what are you gonna do to be consistent as mm. an artist? Because I think that's the biggest thing. You know, uh, because absolutely. people know you, but like you said, like they might not really know the music or might just think, you know, it's something that, that they part. don't realize you've been doing it for so long. No, you're right. absolutely right. And the first thing is like I never really put any type of anything behind my music. Like whenever I would drop something, it would just be like I'm posting it on my socials and that's it. That's but right, right now, you know, I'm taking it a step further and I'm really just out here. Like that's what I'm doing. Like that's the main focus and you right, consistency is yeah. key. Yeah. So, you know, we um we out here. I'm working. I was gonna say, so how is Scrappy support? I see him on stage like rocking yeah. out and shit, looking okay. like no. a husband and shit. You know, like, it yeah. is that's hard. Right. <laughs> it's it's cool for him because that's kinda like where we met at. Got that's you. the space we met you. in. So when we get back to that space, it's kinda like Okay, like it make him feel good too, cause he see that I'm like back in, you know, yeah, my element. Yeah, That's yeah. hard. Yeah. Has he taught you anything about the industry? Things to look out for? Yeah, like you know, he's been in this for a long time. Legendary, so, scrappy, for real. Yeah, and I don't think people, you know, give that era their flowers enough. I do. I love Crunk era. era. That was yeah. my shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah shout out to shit. them. They on that Millennium tour this this year. It starts this facts, weekend. Facts. But um, yeah, you know, he yeah. he. <laughs> his experiences just kind of teach me a lot because he's been through so much he's seen so much and at an early age and he's still going so you know that's that's a lot yeah and he kind of seen um the the era of everything changing from like pushing cds yeah period so that's dope and um yo we fuck with it. We just want you yes. to keep going. Yeah, right. I appreciate that. that. No, we I really appreciate it. Like Y'all yeah. got to for real. Yeah, we'll we got that up. new single, Nagging. It is dropping this weekend. So no. I don't know when the show is going to air. They but party all the time. Yeah. We, got par- oh, okay. we got we got parties. Next you know, week. you was at you was yeah. at our party. Um, Unfortunately, sure. I couldn't get your yeah. music, but I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Yeah, and yeah. it get it right, DJ. Yeah, yeah. I, got, I got an exclusive for you. I'm going to slide okay. to you before we get through here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, we got this question we ask all our guests yes. before we let them go. Damn. Um, so what does the word progress mean to you? That's the name of our platform. You know, mm-hmm. we talk about growth getting better. And the next time that you come on a platform, you know, hopefully we're talking about plaques and platinum songs that and shit. That part, yeah. So what does the word progress mean to you? Progress to me means anything that you got going on new tomorrow that you didn't have today you know what i'm saying it's very simple a lot of people they put so much emphasis on progress like shit. Mm. you know what i'm saying today if i'm here and tomorrow i got a new word that's some fucking progress yeah, for y'all right. because you know what i'm saying like life is ever evolving you just right. got to make sure you're a student of life and but, that's where um, i'm at that's what progress means to me just be a student all. Yeah, yeah that's all real quick. Right, well, listen, <laughs> we got some gifts for you. We gonna get what? You, you got a wow. Uh, you got a little drawer. You got a little swag. You got a ruler in there. The smack, <laughs> smack right. a nigga hand. <laughs> oh, <girl. laughs> they get out of hand. Y'all got to get a ruler. No, no we, thanks. <laughs> let's put that on the list, y'all. Please, right. nigga, get to talking. Right. <laughs> I was gonna say so. We gonna 
present the other gifts off air, but okay. we got a progress report for you, okay? Oh, we got um we got, a we got report the card. Report. Yes. It's yes. a progress oh, report. Oh, report. Progress report. Girl, come on. Our okay. kids is young. They ain't in, they ain't in school. <laughs> yeah, right. you know? She can't yeah, go nah, into the report but, card. Okay. Nah, man, we appreciate your time, and we appreciate you coming through and fucking with us for real. Um, Salute again to my girl, Niche. You know what I mean? Thank it's you, lit. Niche. It's the progress report, y'all. Yes. We out. Period. The Progress Report.